Welcome to Tim's Strategy of the Week series. Today we're going to look at a great scalping strategy to take quick money out of the market. Stay right where you are. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. Thanks for coming back for this installment of the Strategy of the Week. I hope you guys have heard that I've got an app now. It's called the Com Cash Alerts app. Stay around to the end of the video and I'll tell you a bit about it. Today's strategy is called the Triple S or Simple Scalping Strategy. The Triple S is easy to learn and with practice it will become a great addition to your scalping. It could even be the best scalping method you have. So what is scalping? Well scalpers can make many trades in a short trading period. There are three characteristics of scalping strategies. Short positions, small profit margins, and high levels of leverage. Scalpers attempt to target price gaps and other short-term trading loopholes that allow them to quickly turn a large position for a profit. In order to find the opportunities for scalping, you will need to begin by selecting a few key technical indicators. These indicators can help you determine when short-term price gaps are likely to happen. Because scalpers focus on short-term positions with low profit margins, the best scalping strategies require some leverage. If you want to scalp, I recommend starting with a large amount of capital. Opening and closing larger positions allow you to reduce the marginal costs of trading and maximize potential gains. The simple scalping strategy was exclusively designed for scalping. You can give it a try on a one hour or four hour time chart. Feel free to try it out. Let us know how it works in the comments below. We feel it works best with the five minute and 15 minute time chart. You can also try this with a one minute chart if you want, but for this video we'll focus on the M5 and M15 charts. This is a highly profitable forex scalping strategy that uses a very accurate scalping indicator. The simple scalping strategy uses the volume indicator coupled with price action analysis. The volume indicator has been called the fuel tank of the major trading machine. <laughs> Some argue that the volume indicator cannot be used when trading the forex market. This is because there is no central exchange so there's no comprehensive volume data. Another argument is that the volume that you see for Forex is the tick volume that occurs. This means you're not seeing the entire volume that is being traded at the time like you would with stocks. The tick volume is measured by how much the price has ticked up or down in that particular candle bar. So the more people that are getting in at the time, the longer the volume line will become. This is because there will be more movement in price action with all those entry orders flying in. So it makes sense that the volume indicator is first of all very accurate and second has no real lag to it. Scalpers use volume indicators for multiple reasons. Volume and price have a very strong short term relationship, but changes in trading volume usually happen before sustained price movements. Paying attention to volume indicators makes it possible to take advantage of these movements before they actually occur. Using candlestick price charts can also help scalpers get a quick view of the market. Candlestick charts contain more information than simple line type price charts, allowing traders to understand current price trends. Since we're trading on short term intraday charts, the price is very sensitive to any and all news. Some news will be totally unexpected and you won't be able to plan for that. But you can allow for the scheduled news events that happen several times a week. I suggest you not use this strategy within 30 minutes on either side of a major news announcement. To find out when a news event is scheduled, you can look at Trading Strategy Guide's economic calendar. I'll link it in the description below. Now let's get on to the strategy. Step one is to analyze the volume indicator. We're looking for a healthy uptrend or downtrend. In the case of our example, we'll look for an uptrend. The volume indicator should tell you an enormous amount of information. If you see the volume indicator do this and drop off like that, you know that the trend is either dying and heading for a reversal or taking a break and consolidating before continuing its prior movement. In this example, it took a break and consolidated. There were fewer buyers and sellers during that time. Then they picked up and continued to the upside. Our strategy takes advantage of this pullback or consolidation before the price action continues upward in this example. So in this analysis step, look for a period of reduced volume. When you see that, you should look at the price action 
which is step number two. Look for a pullback or consolidation in the price action that corresponds with the reduced volume. Taking a look again at the prior chart, you can see that the consolidation corresponds to the volume reduction. You'll notice the volume begins picking up at the end of the consolidation, which can give you a heads up on the imminent breakout of the price. Here's another example of a bull flag forming with reduced volume after the strong uptrend. Again, the volume starts to spike at the end of the movement, which brings us to step three. Watch for a spike in volume after the period of reduced volume. Reduced volume suggests trader disinterest in the price movement. When you see the volume begin to come back, you should be ready to make your trade entry. Step four is enter the trade on a price action signal. The price action continues in the original uptrend direction. This part is all up to you now. There is no line crossing or arrow appearing or a small voice telling you to buy now. <laughs> you have to understand a little bit about how the price action works before you decide on your entry. Using our example, the volume indicator shot up drastically, meaning that traders are getting in on the action and driving the price up. Your entry can be a simple two candle buy signal where you take the long trade when the price breaks above the prior candle, or you can look for three green, or in this case, three blue candles to signal the buy. This is where you will want to experiment to see what works best for you. Just be consistent in your signals. If you're consistent, then you can do what we call an A-B test, where you test one method directly against another method to see which entry tactic is the most profitable overall. Remember, one winner or one loser does not tell the story. Since trading is statistically based, you will have to have what we in statistics would call a representative sample of trades to get a statistically valid result. That is a bunch of mathy speak to say that you have to have a bunch of results to understand which method is best. <laughs> I know you thought you were done with math when you finished school, right? <laughs> uh, wrong. <laughs> if you want to be a trader, be sure to do your homework. Once you see this big volume spike, or see that the volume indicator is showing that there is some action heading your way, you want to be ready to get into the buy trade because all things are starting to point upwards. Once you've entered the trade, be sure to place a stop loss. Many scalpers will use a mental stop since they're staring at the charts all day anyway. You have to understand yourself to know if that's a good idea or not. A mental stop is easy to fudge. You might say that you're going to give it a chance to come back or whatever. So that may not be a very good idea. I know it isn't a good idea for me. <laughs> when scalping, you're usually trading large trade sizes to make maximum profit on a 10 or 20 pip move, and fudging even a couple of pips can kill your profit margins. I personally find it easier to use a hard stop in the market. You do you. A good place for your stop would be a few pips below the prior swing low. The idea is to get out of the trade when you know it's not doing what you intended for it to do. Lastly, take profit at one and a half or two times the stop loss distance. Again, experiment with this and find the amount that generates the most profit. Increasing the take profit point often will decrease the win loss ratio and will result in less profit than taking a smaller profit point. If you follow my trade picks videos, you know that I use a stop loss that's 50% larger than my first profit point. I've had a few traders argue that you can't make money using a smaller target than stop loss, but that's sort of skewed thinking. A small target typically results in a higher win-loss ratio, often resulting in more profit especially when I close half the trade at the first target, but that's an argument for another day. If you're trading one of the major currency pairs, you may want to target 10 to 20 pips with a 5 to 8 pip stop loss. Once you are up 10 pips, move your stop loss to plus 5 pips to lock in a small profit or at least move it to break even, depending on the spread. This 20 pips in under 5 minutes in this example will not happen every time, but when it does, it will surely make you smile. <laughs> The reason we say go for 10 to 20 pips is for cases like this where you see a big jump after the retracement of the main trend. You don't want to get out too early. Consider this strategy on any of the major currency pairs and you should see some great results. And remember, the rules for a sell trade will be exactly the same, only in the opposite direction on your chart. The simple scalping strategy could be a powerful one minute scalping system as well. If you try it on that time frame, let us know your results. We could use the volume indicator and have a whole basket of strategies to go along with it. The reason is that it can confirm a trend or a reversal because it shows us 
when there is less interest between buyers and sellers. With a good scalping system, you'll find that it's not only easy to scalp, but also to find a high win-loss ratio and a chance to grow your account very quickly. And that's it for this week's strategy. Did I tell you I've got an app? <laughs> this is my first. It's called the Comcash Alerts app. The app allows you to see my trade picks from the YouTube channel, plus additional trade picks that I'm personally looking at. It will also let you chat with me. Most days I get on the app several times and I'll be happy to answer your questions or talk about the weather or dogs or cats or whatever. I'm in the process of doing a few videos to give you details on the best way to handle the trade setups in the app. So please be patient with me and they'll be out shortly. Check it out. I put a link to the app in the description box below. And be sure to come back next Wednesday as we take a look at a few trade examples in our trading education series. And don't miss my trading picks of the week on Mondays and my strategy of the week on Friday right here at Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel at 3 p.m. New York time. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified when these videos come out. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you with a couple of trade picks on Monday. Mm -hmm.